Spain Green Show. I'm Wonderful Will, and this my man on beside me over here is Two Soft Spain. The real talent of the show. Yeah, the real talent of the show. Yes, yes. Go give him some tea, boy. All right, sir. Serve me some tea. Motisa tribe. Mm, that's all you're good for, serving people. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, I know I had to bring your food up like <laughs> Uber Eats. Hey, uh, I want y'all to know he owes me, out of our first billion dollars we make, he owes me about a half, no over half of that because I had to bring his damn lunch every day. Okay. Hey, can you bring me some food on the way? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> you know, the late great Biggie said, more money, more problem. And I know a lot of people didn't take that serious until now. Now you see a lot of people who are in a little trouble about putting their kids in college. Oh, that ain't a little trouble. Illegal. That's a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble? Yeah. Yeah, they're in a lot of trouble uh, for basically cheating, uh, cheating getting their kids into school. Instead of the kids just taking the college, college placement exam, just like every ordinary person should do. But they say they rather just pay the schools, or pay not pay the school, but pay the people who's over the college, the students get into the school, paying the money undercover. Yeah, yeah they got people taking tests for children. They have right. them uh, changing scores. They have them uh, making them seem like they're part of athletic teams. Because I guess they, they want you to, when you're doing your college application, to seem well-rounded. Right. And so they want you to, you know, a lot of those college – well, not even, I ain't going to say college they're not in college yet, but rich kids' parents, they don't do anything, man, but spend money. So they don't go out, play sports. They don't do anything right. other than that. But when it comes time for the application, you got to seem well-rounded. So then they'll have their parents say, oh, they were part of the, the, the bowling team or swimming team right. or they were, something and never were part of it. They're like sneaking their kids into the college through the athletic programs. Yeah. And don't have a, have a bit of athletic ability. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then what, what was funny too, even though you know the kids, they some of them benefited from it, but a lot of them, a lot of the children didn't even know because they said what they would do, they send them into the like just say take the SAT or the ACT, and they would actually still go take the test, but it was somebody else sitting in the room yeah, that was taking the see. test. <laughs> yeah, that was they taking the test place. for them. Yeah, and they would use their scores, and so some of the uh, students didn't even know. They didn't know what was going on because, you know, they actually went and took a test. Mm -hmm. You know, they probably failed the hell out of it or, you know, <laughs> didn't get a good a good score. But it was somebody else in there taking a the test as well and with probably, their name. Yeah, and they submitted that test. And they probably like, I actually got accepted into this school? Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Yeah. I am pretty smart. Yeah, yeah. They no. Didn't know. no, that dollar bill got you in that school, son. Yeah, that's just <laughs> screwed up. And that, and that right there really shows you a lot about how People put all their trust into certain institutions and like this institution is better and this. Right. And now, but you can go back and look and see all of those people that are in there, especially what they, they call the legacies and all of that. If your parents went to that school, you're going to get in no matter what. Right. You know, so, you know, you'll see somebody say, oh, I went to Harvard. I'm like, okay, yeah, but you didn't get in like everybody else did, you know. So it's, it's a school is a school is a school. If you go somewhere and learn Math multiplication, it's the same as it at Harvard as it is at a community college. Right. If you learn it, you learn it, you know. But all this stuff, they keep on trying to make this exclusive, you know, to, uh, to make it sound, you know, give their kids the upper hand. But they really, they really uh, just paid the way. Kids don't learn anything. It's just, it's all a scam. It's all a scam. No, man. it's messed up because, and I and I go back and look at how when you have minorities, particularly blacks, <coughs> will score high on the SAT. They do everything, do all, make all requirements to go to these schools, and they still give them a whole bunch of red tape. And when some rich people can go in and just pay their way through there and not take the test and just walk walks right in there and walks right out with a degree. Yeah, and then, and then and it's, it's, that's, what's, that's what the whole concept pissed me off because I'm not going to, I can't criticize them for not for wanting the best for their children. I won't do that because any parent won't their children have the best. But but that but it's just the principle of it that's got me a little upset about. Yeah, it. and then people want to complain about um, man, what is it called um, affirmative action? Yeah, they want to complain. I said this is the reason why 
they, they, they need affirmative, affirmative action because stuff That's like right. this is coming right. because you couldn't find uh, a lot of black folks and I, I I guarantee you probably some black folks with money probably wouldn't even be able to get away with this probably not oh yeah. you know they'd probably tell them them get them in trouble especially they like celebrities just say like a high profile pro athlete <clears throat> did something like that for they, their son who probably had played football just a little bit and get him to a high profile college just because he has money to pay for it yeah they and, and, and that you know that would be exposed easily then then that parent would be in a lot of trouble just like these one now because they are a lot of have been arrested just like um like one of these like celebrities couple here um what's her name is uh Lori Lawling Lawling Lori Lawling Laughlin I think it's Laughlin and uh her Massimo G G New Lonnie forgive me if I Pronounce your name wrong, man. Did you go to school? <laughs> Might get you five hundred billion well, dollars. I'm sorry, I can't speak Italian. <laughs> but they pay allegedly paid five hundred thousand dollars to get both of their daughters in, into college. Five hundred thousand dollars, man, just to get their kids into the college. Yeah, and then the guy, the guy that was doing all this, the the, the ringleader, what's his name, Singer. This uh -huh. dude's made millions off of getting people in in the college. That's his job. That you know, he's a the man, he has all the contacts, the people, the the, the test takers, right. the coaches, and all that. He does all of that. Because mm -hmm. I, I was watching one um, news show, and they were talking about it. And it, the, it was a parent that was asking them about it. You know, he told them about the donations, the money they had to pay. And they were, like, asking them, was it legal? Mm -hmm. And the guy was like, oh, yeah, it's legal. And they was like, well, could we get in trouble? And the guy said, well, not unless you tell on yourself. <laughs> you know, because he's been doing it for so long, man. This dude is a millionaire. You just get to be, you know, a lot of money for cheating, you know, and uh, right. make all of this money for something dishonest. And right. they knew, everybody knew it, even the parents that did it and paid the money, they knew they shouldn't have been doing that. Right, and like I said, it's so for, uh, for what I've read, like, if the people are already being charged with that. Yeah, because you look at the charges that were well, the guy singer, racketeering conspiracy, money laundering conspiracy, wow. conspiracy to defraud the United States and obstruction of justice. <laughs> you know, that's 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 crazy, he man. Is in trouble. Yeah, that's gonna be they they're gonna they're gonna do a lot of a lot of time, man. Wow, man. Well they right. should. Hey, then again they might get off with a <laughs> you know, they might tell them to go sit in sit at a one of those little, what are those, like, um, what's that place where they sit in the thrift stores and where they give people community service? But and tell them to do community service for twenty hours. But check this out now. With it. I don't know if you remember. Uh, I think it's two thousand twelve. This woman, she's a a mother. She uh, her name Tanya McDowell's McDowell. She was she been charged with a uh, let me see, charged for. Uh, first degree larceny because she lied I guess she lied about where her child lived you know for that school district you know those zoning she uh, lied she used someone else's address to get a child into uh, a better school and then they ended up arresting her for first degree larceny and they gave her and she was sentenced to 12 years Ooh. 12 years well plus with the conspiracy to do it again uh, the cons conspiracy yeah. to commit First degree larceny too, and all that totaled up to twelve years. And I wonder how this going. Did she do the time? Is she uh, doing she's it? probably currently mm -hmm. serving now because uh, she was. It happened in two thousand eleven, and she was convicted in two thousand twelve. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going. I'm just curious to see what these people now are being charged with this with the school uh, scandal. I wonder they're going to get the same, some similar to what she got. And this was just a regular working class. Well, actually, she wasn't a working class. She was almost homeless because she lived out of shelters and she lived out of her van. So she was basically homeless. And she was just doing something, you know, trying to do, get, still she, trying to help her kids, you know, get a quality ed education. Yeah, she's going to get off, man. You know, they, because the same people that they were paying off, these people got connections. When it comes time for sentencing, they got connections with judges too, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, yeah, I'm just yeah. curious to see what kind of sentence they're going to receive. Yeah, it's about little or nothing. Probably. Yeah, and Slap I already on the wrist. know. You already know that. But I'm just saying. See, that's why when you say 
there's no such thing as white privilege. It's the man. I'm telling you, this right here just proves the, that point all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. Mm-hmm. We try to, we, every time when I try not to make it a racial issue, but it is because it's kind of, it, it, it just is hypocritical to me. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. I want to see what's going to happen with that. Yeah, that's what they say. The guy William, he was the supposed to be an emissions consultant, William Singer. Mm-hmm. Then he, his company was called Key Worldwide Foundation. They got paid. He got paid like a mug. Right. Yep. So, so wrong with your fingers, man? No, nah, nothing wrong with my finger. Oh, I was just okay. a little nervous. Oh, okay. Right. Get nervous. Mm. <coughs> well, look at the time. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, and then uh, man, I want to talk about something extraordinary. What's man, that? Zion Williamson, man. Oh, you going? I don't know if y'all watch sports. Oh, the game. Yeah, this dude, with the yeah, North, North Carolina. Carolina. And Duke. Yes. Zion yes. Williamson gonna with be a Duke. Monster. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be a beast in the NBA. In the NBA. Yeah, this dude is he's like. Uh, take over. I remember Julius Peppers. He's about Julius, a little smaller than Julius Peppers, but he was a defensive end. Uh huh. You know, this dude is is what like six seven. Two, I think 285, they can jump like Jordan, and he can shoot the ball, handle the ball. Right. Man, this dude is bad. He, he like he, He's the size of a defensive end, or, you know, a tight yeah, end yeah. or something. Fast, strong, man, this dude is bad. He, I guarantee you he could have he been a hell of a football player if he decided to play football. Right. Yeah, because they said, I saw they said his, his mom, he has good genes though, man. His mom was a, ran, I think they said she ran track, and then his biological dad, Played football. He had scholarship to NC State, but they said something happened. And he ended mm-hmm. up went to some other school, and I don't know what else happened. But uh, well, I man, think that he's going to enter the draft after this season. Yeah, yeah, I know he he, 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 should. he will. Because uh, especially after well. when his shoe fell off, when his foot went through the shoe earlier, <laughs> and he you know he missed right. what, like three or four games, but he just came back for the ACC tournament. But he's uh. Yeah, they barely yeah. won that game. I watched that game. That yeah, was a, that was a real good game because North Carolina had game. yeah North Carolina had beaten them twice this year, mm-hmm. but he hadn't played either one of those games, so he came back and did his thing. That dude's dominating, man. That that, right. that dude is gonna be uh, he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, when like he goes to the NBA. coming up like LeBron, man. He's like what do you think first round that, uh, draft pick? Yeah, you know he's gonna be first round. That's no question. He's first number. He's number one pick. Yeah, that's what I meant. He's gonna be number one pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah that dude's so, number one. Yeah. He can, Who he, think you think the Hawks might get a chance to get him? Man, I don't even watch the Hawks. I don't, okay. Why you watch? What you a Hawks fan or something? You from Atlanta or something? You know, back in the day. Well, when I had Dominique Wilkins, I was a big Hawks fan. Nah, man. So I was wondering since they didn't have a I pretty good the season, Lakers. so I, I like maybe the Lakers. No, nah, man, it's too much talent on the Lakers. You got LeBron James. No, nah, really, man, I don't even like uh, basketball. Well, I, I like it, but I don't follow it like I used to. Yeah. When I see these dudes I can beat still, you know, I like, man, like Jordan and Lajuan and them guys. After that, after that air yeah, ended. Yeah, I, I kind of retired with them. Yeah. I call, you know, Michael Jordan was one of my favorite <laughs> basketball players, but when he retired, I retired with him. Yeah, I but I'm not him. really into the NBA like I used to be. Yeah, because a lot of times you see these commercials – or these little ads and some of these papers, I don't, I don't even know who these people are. But mm-hmm. like when Jordan was playing, everybody knew Jordan, Bird, Magic, Elijah Wan. You know, people that didn't even follow the sport knew these guys. Right, man, right. it's just like basketball is. Is I think now really basketball. Well, I, st- I still say it's just not third. It'll probably be football's number one, basketball, then baseball. Well, you know, a lot of people don't, especially black folks, don't follow baseball. I'm like kind of much. a floater now. When if, if it's exciting, I watch it. Uh, well, any else, anything else you want to talk about, buddy? Yeah, man. Um, if me and you got in a fight, well, it wouldn't even be a fight, man. I, because I know if you took one punch, that would be it. Yep, you'd be riding that floor knocked out. Yeah, you sucker. <laughs> and then, and then all of my, all of our followers, all these followers we got with all these. We're closing in. We're about to hit double digits. Right. In the millions. All right. Well, 10 million followers. Well, again, we thank you all for listening in on our show today. And and just take heed of what we talk about. It's spiritual very important. Spiritual vitamins on the way. I'm not talking about spiritual vitamin right yeah, now. It'll be coming. But I just hope um, you all have vitamin. a great week and have a prosper week. 
a prosperous weekend. There you go with that bad English. Shut up, man. <laughs> Spiritual vitamins. Have a great week, folks. Spiritual vitamins. And always right. remember. God is love. Spiritual vitamin. And love is God. He loves the spiritual vitamin. And we love you. Spiritual vitamins. Peace.